Assalamualaikum, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I want to share with you guys how to apply a US passport. If you just got naturalized and you want to apply for a US passport, so this video is for you. So stay tuned until the end of this video and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly subscribe down below and hit that bell notification so you won't miss any of my videos and if you're new to my channel my name is Shell by the way and to those who already subscribed in my youtube channel thank you very much for all the love and support you have given to my youtube channel i really appreciated it a lot so yeah so guys so if you just got your naturalization certificate and you want to apply for a u.s passport so the things you have to do is first Okay, the first thing you have to do is, of course, you have to call the U.S. Passport Customer Service. So that's the, the, the la first thing you have to do. And if you are traveling, like if you are living abroad like me, so you can apply for an expedite passport. Like it, you can get it the same day when you apply. So... After you've done calling the customer service, so they will give you a confirmation code and you can choose, you, they will tell you, oh, by the way, they will tell you um, what state, okay, you want to go because not all uh, US processing passport have the same one day process, okay, so, um, they will, um, when you call them, they will ask you when is your travel because they have to know that. So 14 days prior to your travel. So you have to be on mind for that. So 14 days prior to your travel, that thing you that date you can apply for a passport. So I, I applied for an expedite because uh, we were we are living in abroad. My husband is working in abroad, so I have to apply for an expedite. So, and we wanted to apply, okay, um, in Washington D.C. By the way, I was I got naturalized uh, in Fairfax, Virginia, and. So after that, when I get my naturalization certificate, I, 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 we wanted to just apply in Washington, D.C. But the problem is they don't have the availability. So uh, the customer service told me there is some state that you can go, uh, like Buffalo and California, that California was too far. So the best, uh, like, the state that is near to us like from virginia is buffalo new york that it just takes seven hours drive so we choose that uh, state the buffalo new york because i also wanted to go to canada so it me and my husband decided to uh, get the buffalo u.s processing center so if you are uh, if it's your first time like me so the form that you need to apply need to fill up is this 11 okay this 11 form yeah this 11 so it's, it's your first time applying for us passport so you have to get the um you have to get the form ds dash 11 okay so you have to fill out you, you can fill it up using the computer it's really it's better than the handwritten so yeah so after that so all you have and the third one of course okay the requirements are of course you have to bring a 2x2 two two passport which has a white background so I went there for uh, 
for to get a um, picture in uh, FedEx because they do that but it doesn't it doesn't look nice the picture so we try, we went somewhere else and it was fine and good and it was accepted and of course don't forget to bring an, an uh, don't forget uh, to bring IDs like uh, driver's license okay so when I applied there okay I was done okay I was uh, we were there in the Buffalo and the, my appointment date was okay, my appointment date came so uh, I we went to the US Press Center in Buffalo and then I came there like um, early okay you have to be at the US Processing Center 15 minutes earlier okay so I was early in I showed the confirmation code and they let me in and then I was waiting for my number and then when my number called I went to the window and then asked me and they asked me the documents and everything my original naturalization certificate and then the lady told me she, they were nice and the lady told me do you have any IDs and then I forgot I said oh I don't have then and and then I asked him and I asked her that if I have a um what you call this i have insurance card with and she asked me is it from the united states i said yeah it is from the united states and it, uh, so i gave to her which has my name on it and she accepted everything and then i, I waited for another uh, window so i can pay so the payment okay the payment for the passport is $160 I choose when I applied okay I tick on my application paper I tick there uh, passport okay uh, passport book and the card so the fees was the passport and the card cost 30 extra $30 and the Execution is $35 and because I applied for an expedite, so there's additional $60. So all in all, was it was $265 if I'm right, you can calculate. <laughs> okay, so and you must bring exact change, okay? So they will not give you change, so make sure to bring exact change to pay for your passport fees. Okay, and then after that, I swore to the officer and after that and then he told me that you can come back and ar around two o'clock so after I have done finish okay so when two o'clock came so we went there and then I get my new passport US passport in a card it was so excited you got your passport exciting today, huh? and happy yeah but before that guys okay when you reach in okay just i'm telling you so when we reach at buffalo okay day before okay so we drop uh, at the uh, uh what you call this buffalo niagara buffalo state no yeah niagara state park in buffalo new york because that time when we reach there in buffalo i cannot enter Canada because I didn't have passport yet but the moment I got my passport okay after six hours okay so we went immediately to uh, Canada because I already got my passport and it was enjoyable I, it was nice and the Niagara Falls was amazing so this is my passport I got it for six hours only because it was an expedite passport because, uh, when I get my naturalization certificate, I cannot travel using my Philippine passport. The customer service of the passport center uh, for the passport uh, told me that I cannot travel using uh, my Philippine passport. So when you so you have to get a US passport, so we cannot do anything. So we ha I had to apply. So when I went back to abroad, so I already used my US password. So this is it, guys. So I'll show you.
So this is it. And my card. So I used this card when we when I entered Canada. So this is valid for between the US, Canada, Mexico, the Caribbean and Bermuda. So this is not valid for uh, our international travel. So this is how I how I I use this to enter Canada. So yeah guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you like this video and if you like this video, please click the like, subscribe button down below and hit that bell notification so you won't miss any of my videos. Thank you guys. See you in my next video. Bye. Thank you for watching.